հանուն հոր եւ որդ ո եւ օկվույն սրբո ամեն սիրելի հավատացյալներ my dear brothers and sisters այսօր հայ եկեղեցիները անոնք որոնք կբատկանին գրիգո գատողի գոսության իրենց թեմերով գդոնեն մեր սիրելի վեհապար հոր նորին սուրբ օձություն դեր դեր առամ առաջին գատողի գոսի ընդրուտյան եւ օձման 23-րդ դարեթարցը նաեւ այս տարի մեր սիրելի վեհապար հայրաբեդին քահանայական ցերնաթրության եւ օձման հիսնամյակն է մեծ դոն է այսօր եկեղեցու մեջ որովհետեւ եկեղեցին գդոն է 50 դարիներու ծարայություն 50 դարիներու անցնադվություն 50 դարիներու նվիրում եկեղեցու ժողովուրդին եւ ասքին Today all the Armenian churches under the jurisdiction of the Catholic Society of the Grand House of Cilicia rejoice and celebrate the 50th anniversary of the ordination of Vehapar Aram the 1st to the priesthood and today we also celebrate the 23rd anniversary of the election and the consecration of Aram Vehapar as a catholicos today we are celebrating 50 years of service we are celebrating a legacy of dedication commitment and love to the church and to the nation vehapar entered the seminary when he was only 14 years old and after that he gave himself to the church with a great loyalty after for the age of 14 years old he forgot himself he forgot his person and dedicated himself for the betterment of our church when aram vehapar became a catholicos he wanted to expand the horizon of what the church can do to its people and worked to bring the church and its mission more into the lives of its people the programs that he initiated the buildings that were built during his time the consecration of several churches including ours by him his pontifical visits to the prelacies and the parishes his ecumenical work his zeal to continue demanding justice and reparations for our armenian genocide all of these show us that he has been a man of vision a man of faith who believes and knows that the armenian church can still play a big role in the life of the armenian people our vehapar's life and service have been very rich and vast his personal qualities of leadership his ability to inspire his ability to organize different religious cultural and national programs are well known our vehapar is also a writer he has written several important books in three languages armenian english and french aram vehapar's thoughts and opinions about the situation of the christians The Christian communities in the Middle East are well respected. Several delegates and church leaders from all around the world visit the Catholicos today only to listen to our Vehapar's perspectives, opinions about the situation of the Christians in the Middle East, their challenges, the and the future situation. But today my dear brothers and sisters I will talk to you about two things that I have seen in our Vehapar's life and I want to share them with you First of all his consistency and determination 
Aram Vehapar has been elected Catholicos for 23 years, I said. If you read his messages when he was just elected and listen to his new messages of today, you will see a clear and surprising consistency. He wants to see our young people as the present leaders of the church instead of the future. You see that from the beginning. He wants to revitalize the church and bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to every single Armenian household. You see that from be the beginning. In his ecumenical work and in his meetings with the world leaders, in 23 years from day one, he hasn't been tired of speaking about the recognition and the reparations of the Armenian genocide. He has never missed a chance to speak about the Armenian genocide and demand justice. He has used every opportunity to remind the world and the international community that Armenians will not remain silent as long as what has been stolen from us is still doesn't belong to us. And second, his wisdom and leadership. In the past 23 years, Aram Vehapar has been excelled in wise leadership. There is a phrase that, is, that comes from the Bible and he likes to use a lot, reading the signs of the times. His leadership is been about reading the signs of the times. He grasps the situation, a new situation, and acts accordingly. And through time, you figure out that he was right. If you read his books, if you listen to his messages, you will not only see the diagnosis of the problems he's talking about, but also wise suggestions from a leader who has traveled the world, knows the system of every church, has studied world history, knows about the problems of the world, economical, so economic, social, political, and otherwise. And so he has this wisdom of trying to give you wise suggestions. Aram Vehapar's wisdom also comes from his long experience of serving the Armenian community as a bishop during the Lebanese civil war and then of course as a Catholicos. But also through years of studying theology, studying theology in different institutions and also through his later intellectual work. Again, if you read his books and listen to his sermons you will not only get the impression that there is a person who is describing the situation, describing what is going on, but he is thoroughly analyzing it from several points of view. And this, because of his experience, because of his wisdom, because of his education, and because of his practical ways, way of seeing things. My dear friends, Today, the Catholic state of the Grand House of Cilicia is in a new period of growth in its national, religious, cultural, educational, and leadership roles because of the dynamic presence of its leader, Aram Vehapar. And we, as one of the churches of this Catholic state, are called today to flourish, to bring this dynamism, this mission here to Granite City, to the greater St. Louis area. When we see the work that is being done there in the Catholic Cossay, the progress, the number of young clergymen joining the church, the dozens of the new programs, we cannot remain silent and do nothing here. No, we need to revitalize ourselves as the Catholicosate has done under the leadership of Aram Vehapar. We need to bring 
this zeal in raising our children with the spirit that knows how to serve God, the church, and the community. And we need to read the signs of the times, as Aram Vihapar likes to say. God bless our Catholicosate with its prelacies, with its churches, with its clergy and lay leaders and people. God bless you all. Amen.